Time to bring the bass back. Mix is the beat of our culture. Your music. I thank God for the opportunity to make music and for that music to be on a platform for people to come out and love. Your stories. It's gold for the Philippines. The next generation of creators, artists, and filmmakers. We bring you the latest and greatest impacting people from our community. Spotlighting inspiring content from Generation Mix. This is a true honor to be able to do this, especially with all the great Filipino talent here. Discover fresh artists first from around the world. Uniquely Filipino. of our culture. Hello everyone, welcome to this mix exclusive interview. I'm VJ Ayi de la Cruz from the number one music channel in the Philippines, Mix. And joining us today is the hottest new girl group from MLD Entertainment. They're finally making their highly anticipated debut on June 20 with Hit Ya. Please welcome Lapulus. Hello! Do set! Show it out! Hello! We are Lapilus! Hello! Can you introduce yourselves one by one and what your role is in the group? 안녕하세요. 저는 Lapilus에서 vocal 맡고 있고요. Little Mami, 외국인 최저 리더, Shana입니다. She is Lapilus's uh, little mommy the leader of our group, and she is in the position of vocal. Okay, hello po, I'm, I'm Lapilus' Shanti, and I'm the vocal of the group din po. Ah. Hello po, I'm Lapilus' Sawan from South Korea. I am Lapilus' Leper and Ideal Bank. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bessie. Uh, I'm from Korea. Uh, my position is poker and rap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yui from Alphilus and I am from America and I'm in charge of vocal and dance. Nice to meet you guys. Hello, I'm Han. I'm from Korea. Uh, my position is dance and <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much for joining us, girls. All right, I have a few questions uh, about your intro. What do you say um, when you do this? Okay. Uh, uh, so, like when we say when we introduce ourselves, we say "show it off," and we have this hand signal where you put like this in your eye. And what does it mean? Uh, looking. Okay. Looking out, and then this, you say, you put like the hand signal like this. This list signifies like L for lapilus. Lapilus then. Oh. Lapilus we all just made it up by ourselves, and we're kind of like giving off the message to like show it up. We want we want to show off our charms and our colors. Like so, we're yeah. trying to promote to let the teenagers and the youth around the world to just show it off. Like show yeah. off your confidence. Perfect. Ooh, that's so cute. Show it off. Yes. Oh, nice. It's so cute. It's so cute. And you know, it, it has a special meaning and it's very inspirational, especially for all of your fans who will be looking up to you and will be inspired by your message. But all right, now let's start to get to know the girls of Lapulus. We're so excited. So let's start first with Shanti. Of course, Shanti, um, Filipino fans will recognize you um, immediately because you are here um, for quite quite some time you had a promising acting career in the Philippines as Chantal Videla. So why did you decide to pursue becoming a K-pop idol? Okay, so um, everything went really, really good for in the Philippines. I'm so blessed and happy and grateful for everything that I learned in the Philippines. But like uh, there came a moment where I finally had the opportunity to come here. And so I just decided to grab it. With the, with the help of my parents, we talked about it. And yeah, I just wanted to see how far I could grow with my musical talent, with this small musical talent of mine. I kind of wanted to explore and pursue like different type of like career paths. And that's where it led me to be here. For. How did the opportunity come to you though? Like, was there an open auditions or, uh, or were there open auditions or were you invited? 
Oh, okay. So my dad had been working with a Korean friend. And so he kind of had like a connection or like he knew MLD Entertainment. And back then, a few years back, MLD Entertainment had been looking, had been recruiting like members for their group mm -hmm. in the future. And so the CEO happened to be in the Philippines and had been like searching for possible Filipino members, uh, presumably. And so, yeah, he showed my picture to the, to the CEO and he kind of was like interested and that chain reaction, we met him, we, we, we had the conversation of me training and that's where he found out that I had like acting experiences in the Philippines and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Which we all know about already, like your life before Lapilus. But now, of course, we don't know the lives of the other members before they became part of this group. So we'd like to know um, what they were doing um, before they joined Lapilus. So can you please ask them, uh, Chantal, like what was their life before Lapilus? Okay, Haun! <laughs> Raising your hand. Go, Haun. Okay, you go first. Uh, so Han said that like before she was a trainee, she was just a completely normal student. And so she woke up in the morning, ate ate breakfast made by her mom and went to school, studied. And then since she liked dancing, she went she also went to a dance academy after school and she went back home and then just slept and that was just her normal day. Okay, so normal student who is also a performer. How about you, How UA? You? Um when before I was a trainee, I, I was honestly just a normal student too. I went to school, went high school, um, did my studies, came back home, and then on like the weekends, I would sometimes have like dance lessons and language lessons. Yeah, that was just pretty much it. Ooh. Okay. How about you, Bessie? Oh, 정말 자유로운 학생이었는데 학교를 갔다 와서 보컬 댄스 그리고 그림 이렇게. Like for Bessie, like instead of being a completely normal student, she went to school and then she had vocal lessons, dance lessons, and drawing lessons. Wow, a, a lot of you, a lot of you has had formal lessons then. Okay, how about so on? Uh, 저도 학생이었었는데 저도 학교 갔다가 학교 끝나면 공부 학원 갔다가. So for her, she also had been just having the same lifestyle where she she wakes up in the morning, goes to school, and after school, she has like this like like school other like school session where she reviews probably everything that she learned and stuff like that. Like Gongbu Hagun, they have like that thing here in Korea where they they have extra study lessons, and after that. She she also had like dance lessons too. Could oh. dance lessons. She also had dance lessons, and yeah, she goes home, and that's pretty much her daily life. Oh. Wow, such an achiever! <laughs> You're doing so much. <laughs> okay, how about Shanna? Ah, 저는 저도 학생이었고 고등학생 2학년이었는데 그때 거기가 예고였어가지고 거기서도 줌 레슨 받고. Ah, uh, 그리고 집에 가도 좀 연습도 하고 그리고 오디션 많이 보고 드디어 붙고 여기 와서 견습생하고 연습생이야. Like for her, ever since elementary, she has been having like she just like a normal student. She goes to school, but then she also had like dance lessons too. Like she goes to a dance academy and stuff like that. And from that moment on, she has been interested into the K-pop world, and so she she attended lots of auditions, and finally she is here with us now. Ooh, all right. Let's talk about your inspirations, your idols. Okay, which artists inspired you to become idols too? It doesn't have to be in K-pop, like just artists in general. Who inspired you to become idols? 
Shana, you go first. Ne. Um, まあ、まあ、あ、ブレイキングリサ선배님하고 엄청 오래 걸렸고 그때 아 그, 뭔가 그냥 웃으면서 무대하고 있지만 이렇게 될 때까지 얼마나 열심히 했, 하셨을까 이런 생각도 들었고 그만큼 우, 웃으면서 하는 그 프로페셔널 그런 음. 모습도 멋있었고 진짜 그 퍼포먼스 진짜 멋있었기 때문에 저 그런 사람이 되고 싶다 그렇게 생각 Uh, like according to Shana, she said that uh, her role model is Blackpink something Lisa something name. And upon seeing her performances, she was amazed at how Lisa something name was able to make like difficult dance moves look so easy and like so she does it like so naturally. And upon seeing her performance and like when when she started practicing, she realized how difficult it was. And it made her like reflect more on how Lisa Sompenin must have worked hard on like where she is now. And upon seeing that, she kind of like got inspiration, got inspired to work harder and to improve. Yay. Thank you so much for sharing that. But I think we're running out of time. So maybe um, each of you can give us like a name of the artist and then we're good. <laughs> okay. How much is it? Ah, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Shana. A pink. A pink something. A pink. All right. For Bessie. Chongha something. Chongha. Chongha. Ah, Chongha. Yes. Chongha. Okay. You eh? For me, it was itzy something. Ah, itzy something. Itzy. All right. Oh. Han. Sister. Ah, sister. 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 Oh. And Shanti. <laughs> For me, it may not make any sense because it's not from K-pop. Okay. If you happen to know Talia? She oh is... yes, Marimar. Yes, yes, yes. She's a singer, and so as a, as when I was younger, I've always looked up to her singing and her everything that she does. So yeah, she has been like my very very first role model. Oh, okay. Now let's talk about your name, Lapilos. This is very new um, to most of uh, the listeners, your audience. So, what does it mean, and why? Uh, how does the name fit the group? Okay, Lapilos is actually a Latin word, and the meaning behind it is that, like, depending on the direction of light, the jewel changes colors. Mm -hmm. And so, like, uh, with that meaning behind it. We we kind of want to show like share a message into the world to find your color, to be confident, and to pursue your dreams and shine your light into the world. Just as how our group uh, have like each member has different types of styles and colors. So just like how the diversity of our group, I hope we we're hoping to share that message. Well. Oh, beautiful message. And, you know, it's a beautiful meaning uh, behind Lapilus. Okay, so now, congratulations on your debut. Um, and you have released Hitya. Congratulations. So, why do you think it's the perfect way to introduce Lapilus? And can you tell us what Hitya is all about? Uh, 아, 강한, 어, 중독성이 강한 프레임 훅과 어, 강렬한 댄스 브레이크를 통해 라피스만의 팀크러쉬 매력을 만나보실 수 있습니다. So Han said that Hidia is our debut song that basically has the shows our all of our confidence and shows our charms and it is a song that has an addictive hook and a very strong like dance performance so i hope all of you guys can like it <laughs> is it okay if we request for like a short sample of you girls singing hit ya oh sure mm -hmm. of course <laughs> 
Korean's in the game. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna make you sweat. My hip is like a wagon. So I don't love you, run. Hit up, hit up, hit up. Yay! Thank you, thank you for that fiery performance. We can't wait um, for everyone to hear this. Um, but now, what can we expect from the music video? Mm. Well, uh, points, points, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, for according to Bessie, our like, uh, in like in our choreography, there's like this point where it looks really awesome, and I and I feel like people would be able to follow and like do covers with it, and we're excited to see fans covers too. And for me personally, with the music video, we all have like our own like like this like solo shots and it has different like colors not colors like styles and i hope mm -hmm. that like the people that are watching the music video would appreciate it and would focus on like each of our styles there Ooh, well now that you've mentioned um your, your styles and that um earlier you mentioned that lapilus changes colors depending on the light so do you represent um a color each member like what color would that be or what style would that be yeah all of us has our own colors yeah yeah <laughs> 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 귀엽고 음. 밝은 느낌입니다. 아, 그런 분위기를 가지고 있습니다. Like for Shana, she she represents the color yellow, and the color yellow is so like bright and cute, and so like with that like thought, that's how that's what like her color represents. That's how it represents her. Oh, little mommy is yellow. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. How about for the other Shanti? What's your color? Okay, my color is green. Personally, I just picked this color because it's my favorite color, and it's, <laughs> it's so it feels so refreshing, and mm -hmm. it's, it feels calm. And yeah, although I don't know why they think I'm not calm, but for me, I personally think that I'm a very calm person, probably internally. And yeah, it it brings luck to me, so I picked that color. But... Okay, so on. Oh, uh, 저는 핑크색. 그 약간 for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh. her color is pink and it represents like such a lovely vibe which mm -hmm. represents her a lot so that's why she picked it how about for bessie my color is red mm -hmm. so, uh, and she said that her color is red and like her personality is like kind of like those strong kind of personality. So she said like that color like really represents her. Mm -hmm. Yui, how about you? For me, my color is purple. Mm -hmm. And so basically I choose purple because purple is made from the color red and blue. And it kind of represents like red is kind of like the really like happy and like high tension vibe and then blue is kind of that like calm and like serious vibe mm -hmm. so that kind of represents like me how i can have like these kind of two concepts that's oh, so good oh <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and pun <laughs> um my color is blue um Said that blue is her color because she has that kind of like cool vibe. Mm. Wow. Did you plan that at all, Yui? You're you're sitting between red and blue right now. <laughs> and you're purple. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. So will we be seeing these colors represented in the music video? Yes. Yes, okay, well. there you go. All right, so we can't wait for everyone to see it and for everyone to vote for it on Mix.Global so that it can it can enter our mix charts and it can rise to the top. But for now, um, have you decided on a fandom name yet? Of course, all your Filipino fans are so excited to have a name for themselves. Oh, well, well, for now, we haven't really come up with a name yet. I feel like it's up on the company for it to decide. So, yeah, so I hope that like the fans would be like more patient with it. I hope 
we can't wait to come up with a really cool name to call everyone. So yeah, please look forward to it. All right, we will. And while we wait for that, um, who do you want to collaborate with? Like, we, we want to know what's next for the group. What do you want to achieve as a group? I would love to collaborate with like Western artists in America. It's like, like who? Um, oh, I would like to collaborate with like Ariana Grande, like Doja Cat, Brian Halsey. Like, I really like their music personally, so it would be such a great honor to be able to collaborate with them. Yes. All right. Thanks, UA. How about for the others? Shanti? Um, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, for me, I'd like to, it would be really nice to collaborate with Filipino singers too. Because, oh uh, yeah, it would be a really great way to show off Filipino, how good Filipino music is and like yes. how good Filipino singers are. And, okay. Probably one of the people I'd like to collaborate with would be Miss Casey Tandingan. Yes. I really love it would be an honor to collaborate with her and with like us as La Pilis Pop. Amazing performer, Casey Tandingan. Um how about for the others? Um let's have Shanna. Who would you want to collaborate with? Natisha. <laughs> She said that Nati Natasha Sambeni was really awesome, so she likes to, she would love to collaborate with her. Oh, uh, right. Nati Natasha. <laughs> so on. You and I are Ariana Grande. Same as UA. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I understood. <laughs> I'm learning a lot just by talking to you. Okay, how about you, Bessie? Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. Oh, oh. Oh. She said that everyone in our group is like really good at singing, so she hopes that one day we can collaborate with Justin Bieber something. Yes, and let's of course hope for his speedy recovery. Um, right now, um, he's suffering from facial paralysis. He canceled the shows, but I'm sure he'll be back doing shows soon. And Han! Han! Oh, so I'm thinking about Ariana Grande. Yeah, she also liked to collaborate with Ariana Grande. Oh. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing so much with us girls, but right now we'd like to ask for a special message to all of your Filipino fans watching right now. Uh, uh, to our Filipino fans, we would love to say thank you so, so much for this, for this really like heartwarming support that we've received before our debut, even now that we've debuted, we're so thankful for the loving messages and comments and we can't wait to meet you guys hopefully soon in the near future we'll be able to visit the philippines and uh promote our song and perform in front of all of you we love you so so much and we got bless y'all yay and lastly shanti of course it would mean so much if uh we could hear you say a message in filipino as well you know just to check if you still know how to speak yes. in tagalog or filipino <laughs> Okay, change language to the okay. uh, sa mga Pinoy po namin na fans, gusto po namin magpasalamat ng sobra-sobra. Uh, sobra namin na, naramdaman ang mainit niyo pong pagtanggap sa Lapilus. At um, kinihintay po, excited po kami na pumunta po dyan hopefully sa, sa mga susunod po na ba, hindi po namin alam. Pero uh, gustong gusto po namin na mag-perform dyan at mamit po kayong lahat. And mag-ingat po kayo palagi and sana po patuloy niyo pong pagsubaybayan ng Lapilus po. Yay! Thank you so much, Lapilus! We can't wait to see more of your music. Thank you so much. Han, Yue, Bessie, Soan, Shanti, and Shana of Lapilus. Once again, this has been a mixed exclusive interview with me, BJ Ayi de la Cruz, and the newest K-pop girl group from MLD Entertainment, Lapilus. Bye, guys! Bye! Bye. Thank you.